Hi guys, let's have a look at Instagram photo sizes and how to set them up in a template so they're there whenever you want them because you can't beat using photos on Instagram that are the exact size and I'll show you that in just a moment. So, all you need to worry about is whether or not your feed has a cohesive aesthetic which means it's recognisable in all the chaff as your feed. In other words, your fans can see instantly and they can see your posts clearly. Check out the current Instagram formats and sizes, not the one on the right, which is an old one and a little bit out of date, and easily keep them up to date when they change, as they surely will. So let's create the template, also available as a download. See the description below, on my website usually. Don't forget to subscribe while you're there. Now, creating the template. So let's start by creating a custom document starting at 3240 by 3240 with a transparent background. 300 dpi RGB colour space. Pixel measurements. This preset can be used at any time then from now on. Press OK when you're sure you've got it right. Now we can start with a blank canvas and begin to build the individual sized image placeholders. We'll begin with Artboard 1. Now that one there I've pulled up is the first Artboard. Its name by default will be Artboard 1, but go directly to the Layers panel and rename it to Post 1080 by 1080. That's the size of a standard post. But leave it blank. That's all you want here. At a standard width of 1080 pixels, Instagram keeps your photo its original size, as long as its height is between 566 and 1350 pixels. If your width is less than 320 wide, it will be stretched. If it's more than 100, well, 1080 pixels, it will be shrunk. For those posts that are not square, so long as the dimensions remain as recommended, your image will look like it's supposed to. Now it's all about ratios. And you can see the aspect ratios listed there. Let's create all the artboards and rename them as needed. Now there we have them. Now, how can we use them? Let's start with Instagram post. Probably the most popular form. And now that's the first one on the top left. It's 1080 by 1080 and its name is Post. That's the bottom one in the Layers panel on the right hand side. You can see they're all listed there. Let's create a post that's exactly the right size. First, select the layer artboard you created for the post and go to Edit Copy. So you've you're making a copy of your artboard, your post 1080 by 1080 artboard. Now, go back to the main interface and create a new project from the clipboard. And there you have it. It's created a single uh, project with that artboard in it and you can now begin building your post image. Knowing your image is the right size, it's exactly the right size. This is where you can begin building your brand. In this case, the logo and program is clear on the left side. It's the same as on my YouTube thumbnails and my YouTube header, as well as my website. Now, export the post as a PNG or JPG for posting. If you're using photos, tap on the share button in the bottom left hand corner there and add it to your photo gallery. And that way it's easily accessible when you go to Instagram. Now there you go. Job done. That's all there is to this little tutorial. Now I've posted it on Instagram and it's a perfect fit as you can see. Clear, easy to read, nice coloured background. And that's it. Easy as. Always at your fingertips. What's the glory of that? 
If you've got those posts already pre-formatted, you can create post 1, post 2, post 3, post 4, post 5, post 6, 7 and 8 and send them as a story, one after the other. Too easy. And they'll all fit neatly on the screen. You're not worried about skewed images or photos that overrun or fit, don't fit on the screen or get all skewed out of shape. Nice. And that's exactly what you want. So, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. See you next video, folks. Enjoy.